We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants, who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly <laughs> second down and six Defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three yard gain on that pass. Third and four. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. No, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. That's a six-yard gain. And four. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He could go all the way. The 10. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him me. Nice run. No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. First down and six. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. point attempt it's good they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing First and ten. Well, 
When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? <laughs> when I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And that'll be second down and four. way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. down the field unopposed. Man, the defense looks clueless out there. First down and five. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and never going to happen. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That yeah, is still edible now. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, 
great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and, well, good luck. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pan, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. You never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. All you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pop? Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Man, what a hit that was! Second down and two. Spike the offensive water with strawberry fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And the defense scrummed it up. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Second down and 
partner. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Third down and long. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Good thing they got a drug testing in the NFL, because whenever they juice that player with to make him run that fast, can't be legal. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And they run it for a couple of yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Football. He gets, he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. They'll drop him. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. I'm a house camel on silver. I am a hell of a fellow.
Oh, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a... Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Supercharged and can oh, look man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 30. The 20. He's at the 10. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Luke Warm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and long. He had it for a second there. Third down and, well, good luck. He picks up a two. Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Understand me? 
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. The way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. I don't even get out of Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and the punter is warming up. will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and seven. Third down and long. play defense of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick i do the guy should have fucking caught it and he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him unless of course you kill him wow look at that freak go he's unstoppable First and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. You ever get a 
been hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Defense calls a rebel man about a six-yard gain. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And that'll be second down and four. lateral to his teammate. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third down and three. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. down and 10. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. It feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear you're drunk. I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Uh, Junior's having a flashback, Grim. What do we do? That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Defender cut off that pass like a suburban Wow, with the brain scrambler. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on them before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. First down and less than a yard. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay wait to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. 
First down and three. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those poetic things, like a high cool. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and... They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down, and they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Third down and six. a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it for a kick this far you just gotta kick it as hard as you can partner and aim it's really important from this distance it's probably a smart idea it's good <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Mutant Death League. Bricks, overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. Passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Third and two. He 
dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he turned. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Great chance for a big gain. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and three. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Third down and six. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. The Tyrants are defeated and walk away losers. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.